Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. This is episode 108. I'm Bill Jellin from MrExcel.com. We'll be joined by Mike Gerben from Excel is Fun Descriptive Statistics. Oh, hey, everyone. Hey, Mike. Back after a long break. I have to apologize. I was uh, writing a book, a book for beginning Excel users. And of course, I can never get any podcasts done when I'm writing a book, but that book is out. And uh, we're back. So uh, today's question: They want to have a large data set here, and units sold, uh, going from B2 down to uh, it looks like uh, B1206. We want to come up with a sum, average, standard deviation, min, and max. And Mike said, "Yeah, hey, maybe you can do a pivot table." Well, wait a second. I don't think I need to do a pivot table. I don't think I need to because if I just select the whole range and then come down here to the bottom right-hand corner, there's the sum, there's the average. There's the min, there's the, oh, I don't have a standard deviation. And if I right click, it's not available to me in those quick statistics. Shoot, that would have solved it. we are done right there. Ah, but I went to Alt TI, Alt TI, where I have the add ins, and I turned on the analysis tool pack, and that gets me this data analysis button over here. Uh, and these always uh, just strike me as being a little, a uh, little, uh, <laughs> hard to use, let's say, but I remember there's something called descriptive statistics. Click OK, and here's our input range, B1 to B1206. Uh, the data is in a column, yes, labels in first row, output range D4, and just choose stum summary statistics. Click OK, and bam, there we go. Uh, so, uh, sum, there it is, 40, 484. Mean, that's the average, right? Standard deviation is there. The min, the max, the range, a few other things they didn't even ask for, and we're done. All right, but let's try it with a pivot table if you want to do all this. So, insert pivot table. I'm going to put it right here, D, click OK, and units sold. I'm going to take it five times. One, two, three, four, and five, we'll put this going down so it stays in your screen. So there's some, we'll come here and say field settings. I want to see the average, click OK, come to the next one. Field settings, I want to see the min, field settings, the max, field settings, standard deviation or standard deviation of the entire population, one of those two. This is funny, I all of a sudden just had a flash. I just had a flash. I understand why Mike Excel is fun. Gervin sent this through. Because sometime in the last two months I made this I said the sentence. I've never had a chance to create a pivot table where I use standard deviation. Mike, thank you for getting that off my bucket list. Alright, so two different ways. The analysis tool pack, data analysis, or a pivot table. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Man, great to be back and doing a duel. I love the three ways you did it. That first way you did it, you used the status bar, if only they had standard deviation. And the second way, this data analysis, I'm going to have to give you the point, and I'm doing that if I took a vote in the statistics class I teach, they like this method because you highlight, you click it, it does a bunch of things. Pivot table, totally awesome. We didn't get to do it here, but standard deviation and pivot table is the best way when you have more than one criteria. So if there's no standard deviation if function. So when you have one or two or three criteria, man, pivot tables rock. So, OK, I'm going to use um, functions and define names. Now, you know, I can't type. I see something like this. I have the choice of typing sum, average, standard deviation, but I'm going to I'm going to totally cheat here. I'm going to go to text to columns. I'm going to say delimited next. And notice it's split it across. Oh, I it comes up by default like this. I'm going to select comma, but notice it's splitting it there. I don't want those spaces, so I'm going to click space. And then I notice that there's a colon there, so I'm going to say other and type a colon. That We'll split it all out into the cells, and then I'm going to highlight this, Control-C. Right-click, Paste Special, Transpose. Look at that. And then I can delete that. Now I want to use Define Names. I'm going to click in the field Name, Control-Shift-Down Arrow. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, Control-Shift-F3. That creates names from selection. It says, hey, where's the name? It's at the top. I'm going to click OK. So now there is a Define Name. 
Now I'm just going to come here, Alt equals, and then type U. And notice the screen tip. That icon is for functions. The dog tag is for define name. So I tab equals A, V, E, R, tab, and then U, tab, enter equals STDE. Now in 2010, they came up with dot P dot S, and a lot of the statistical functions have this dot convention. This little insignia down here means these are in here for compatibility only, but they want you to use the new one. Population, since we have a sample, we're going to use S. And then U tab, Enter, equals MIN tab U tab enter and finally equals max tab u tab enter and there we have standard some average standard deviation min and max all right uh, mr excel totally great to to be doing duels again i'm glad that pocket list is one uh, item less of course the master that you are i'm sure that pocket list is not very big all right we'll see you Thanks. See you next uh, duel. Hey, all right, Mike. That's great. In an episode on on descriptive statistics, I show us a cool way to use data text to columns and paste special transpose to prevent uh, a lot of typing. Uh, as far as the fewest number of of keystrokes, that was awesome. Hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is fun.